Hello, uh, I'm Richard Raffin. Uh, I was recently given this block of uh, timber from Western Australia. Uh, it's dry, it looks like an old sleeper or something or other. And I'm going to show you, uh, slightly closer up, how I go about cutting it. I'm not sure what I'm going to get out of it, I might get nothing out of it. Uh, but this is how I deal with the block. So here we are with this block. Uh, I like to work stuff which is split free, uh, defect free. So um, I'm going to cut out all the splits. So the first thing I need to do always with these blocks like this, it looks solid on the end, um, but I'm going to cut off each end just to see what's uh, hiding just beneath the surface. So I'll do that first. That's just jamming the blade to a halt because I don't have a, any other break on this saw. Uh, but the main idea is to cut a thin slither off and then I can bend that and see where any splits are. So there don't seem to be any real micro splits there, which is good on that side. And what I do see um, is I've got a, a split there which kind of stops that point there are other little micro splits there um, now I could live with most of those and possibly have this as the top of a bowl so I could hollow a bowl into there and have a fairly wide rim of, uh, of the old surface around um, and I could do the same with the other side um, but for the moment we'll just cut off the other end and see what that holds in store. It is cutting very nicely. Um, have a pretty good whack of, I mean that all looks pretty good and solid despite these small bits breaking off, that's not too bad. Uh, the major problem I have here is this big split coming across which comes down to there so my, I'm unlikely to use any of this rough surface so I think I'll cut that off and then I can see what's happening inside there and I might as well do the same the other side and so my main aim is then going to be to get the sides here parallel with one of these surfaces so I can treat it like a very short ball. So I'm going to take this off and I'm going to turn it over so uh, it's easy to see where this top edge is. <laughs> Right, so that looks quite dramatic. Not much in there now. So there's, that's those splits which I can see. Uh, the other slither which came off the back, um, looking quite nice that stuff. And there's probably, might even be some pen blanks in there. So I'll have a look at that a bit later. Extremely dusty stuff. I normally have the dust extractor on, but then you wouldn't hear me at all. So my next 
thinking is that that split a uh, thing I forgot to mention earlier on is uh, I can see medallary rays here now if I can cut parallel to those I'm going to get that very nice broad figure now that split will be pretty much on the growth uh, on the um, on with it'll be one of the splits one of the medallary rays so I think I'm going to cut up that line and see what that brings out I'm thinking now I might get some shallow dishes out of this right this time the dust extractor is going on on board um, that's all nice and clean and I look on this side the remnants of the splits down here uh, are coming in as far as this I can see the very ends are down around there now they go in up to about that point so I might be able to accommodate those in the bottom of a dish um, but I've got nice clean material up this side so that will get a circle on it and uh, So I've got a small knot pin knot there which uh, is going back at that angle. I can't see it coming out the other side but anyway that's, that'll be alright. Now that then leaves me two little possible smaller dishes there and uh, I think I'll probably go for that here. It's not quite solid enough for boxes. Um, I could make a little scoop perhaps but the, the width I've got here is uh, 170 mil, which is just under seven inches, so six and a half inches. So I can get two, two little three inch bowls out of that, quite happy, 75 mil bowls. So we'll do that. So we'll step that out. Um, one, two, three, four. Yeah, just take it in a little bit.
I'd rather go for a slightly larger bowl here because the colour's quite nice and uh, there aren't too so many splits down this side so I'll just get as large a bowl as I can in here Let's see what that looks like Got allow enough between the two bowls that I can get the saw in there. There's one there, and that gives me uh, an, another slightly smaller bowl there. Well, you can get two at this rate, but given the damage on the, this end here, if I sneak up in this direction, I'll probably get a much cleaner, deeper bowl at that end. that. So uh, that is how I'll cut my bowls out of that but not with this blade. This is a, um, a three quarter inch it will not go around those bends uh, willingly so I'm going to leave that until I've got a smaller blade on and uh, yes I'll leave that until we've got a smaller blade on. Now, coming back to the other bits we've got, so I've got this wedge with a few little splits up here. Um, I think the way I'll attack this is to, I want a face which is at right angles on the ingrain, at right angles to that. So, That means that I can then stand this on end and I'm just going to cut that off. There's not even lace bobbins in there. Then to get through by turning like never having made a pen. Now this is another bit where I might get a nice long thin bit out. Uh, just give it a go. So that needs a, to be straightened up on this edge for a start. I'm thinking of a spatula here. go very far so that will be centre there that's definitely going to be a spatula so we'll see that in its own little video that 
rubbish. Right, so now we come back up to this bit where we've got this fairly rough surface here. The splits appear to go down uh, best part of 15 millimeters. So um, I think I'll you know, just give it a go with um, with a larger thin plate and see what happens. I've forgotten about that. So that will that comes down to there. So I'll get rid of that for a start. This is back at a little bit of an angle there, so I'll just leave myself a bit more room there. So that will be that. that circle there. That'll definitely be a nice little dish, and this one might be. This can now I'll just cut that in the middle now. I want to see I want to see where I'm going. So uh, this I can I can see the two circles marked there and just eyeball it straight through. And that means the whole thing is going to be cut accurately in the middle. Then I'm going to slice them into small balls. weren't high enough. So it's going to be a pretty thin plate. Put it down to there in case there's something I can play with in the bottom.
Right, so there's enough here for a spatula. If I have the blade there and the handle up this end, could have a very big fat handle. Quite nice. Um, or I can think in terms of a small box, long thin box, perhaps, possibly, um, which would mean cutting a square out of here. Uh, down to there and that would get rid of this rough stuff and I think oh, you know, that's the kind of thing which I will leave around for the moment uh, just so I can have a think about it I definitely don't want this rough surface so I'm going to take that off uh, and then again that will just see what I'm left with <laughs> Get the thin bit and see if you can bend it. And there's a split right about the middle, right up there. So that really hasn't got very much going for it. The most, so there's a split in there, there's a split there, so it's basically split up the middle. These three bowls, um, see how we go. I might even split that one in two and get two little bowls out of that one. A little dish there, another little dish, spatula. So, possibly three spatulas, another little. Um, yes, yeah, quite a bit of defect here. It doesn't want to break, so uh, I can probably get another circle out of that. So here's how the first three pieces came out. Uh, that's the large, largest blank. And that's for its own little video. That'll be the forest she oak bowl. Um, this is the forest she oak shallow box. Which again, there'll be a, there's a video on that. And the two in the back here, these are the ones I was thinking about turning into bowls and I'm now thinking that maybe a slightly taller box might be the go. But uh, you'll just have to wait and see on that one. <laughs> 